Welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electrical Closet. Today we're going to look at the new Boom Bonnet from Hard Kernel. This Boom Bonnet was designed to run off of the I squared S interface on the C0, C1 Plus, and the C2, which is found right over here by the HDMI port. So the first thing to do is update your system. Once you're done updating, connect the boom bonnet like this. Notice on the C, uh, the C series cable, we have the gray wire on one side. That is the denoting the ground pin. And um, if you uh, look on the board here, it says ground there where we put the gray wire. And on the C2, the ground pin is closer to the Ethernet port on the I2S header. All right, now the boom bonnet is connected. The next step is to run the necessary commands. And like most products that Ameridroid sells, a great place to start out is on Ameridroid's website. So that's the first step. We've already done that. The next step is to verify what A Play sound devices you have installed. So this is showing we only have the Odroid HDMI as a sound device right now. So now what we have to do is we have to install the or enable the PCM 5102 device which is related to the boom bonnet. Now when we check A play again, we'll see Odroid HDMI and Odroid DAC. That's the new boom bonnet device. Now once we've done that, we go to Applications, Sound and Video, Sound, the Hardware tab, and Output Select. Okay, so we go Applications, Sound, go to the Hardware tab, Output Odroid DAC is already set, and under the Output tab, we'll also select At this point, we should be able to play some music. So I'm sure you won't be able to hear it as well over the mic, but it sounds pretty decent. There's also a jack here for a headphone. Uh, these three pins here are for other uh, line inputs. 
And then this is for the XU4 I squared S header. Uh, another interesting thing is that this board is made to be separated so you can snap it along this line right here and along this line so you can get uh, stereo separation on the speakers. That's it for today.